Um, I first of all would like to uh, have sincere sympathy to anyone uh, that has um, passed away uh, due to a road traffic accident, um, which is, you know, a, a huge uh, tragedy to a family and to, to a community, uh, as, as often uh, too many times it has happened, unfortunately, for one reason or another. In March 2022, Minister of Transport and Infrastructure Ireland conducted an independent study on the implications of reducing speed limits. The findings of this report are both startling and concerning. The report concluded that lowering speed limits would have a negative effect on emissions. More alarmingly, project, projected an increase in fatalities, estimating an additional 35 deaths annually. Furthermore, the economic implications are staggering. The report anticipates that the cost of reducing speed limits could amount to a whopping 3.8 billion over a 30-year period. Despite the gravity of these findings, this report, to our knowledge, the only government internal document on this subject is being overlooked. This disregard is perplexing, especially considering the report's clear indication that reducing speed limits would increase road audits rather than decrease them and impose a nearly, uh, a nearly three billion cost in the country over the next three decades. The question that arises here is why is such a significant report being uh, ignored? And also, Minister, while I'm at it, I, I, um, the, you know, I, I, um, Deputy Cassie said there earlier on that he was worried and he had serious worries about this issue and serious worries. The biggest worry I have is the Minister. First of all, his absence here tonight is very disappointing because it's a very serious matter, number one. But number two, um, the TII advised the minister uh, in, uh, in, in recent years that there'd be, if he didn't invest on certain roads, there'd be 77 extra deaths and 381 injuries in five years, and he failed to invest in that. I, I see, I hear today Deputy uh, Christopher O'Sullivan in Westcock accepting, accepting as, as a government TD that our roads budget in Westcock on Thursday, however he seems to know about it, is going to have a decrease. It's astonishing. And our roads, he said, he accepted, are in appalling condition, because they are. I agree with him. I've met him long enough, but now he's on my side, which is great. Uh, but I'm in the opposition. That's a bit strange. He's in government. He hasn't delivered. But the bottom line is, West Cork Roads Minister, you can't nod your head. Come down to West Cork. Sit into my car, and I'll take you around West Cork. Because if your deputy hasn't done it, I will do it. And you will see the appalling conditions they're ordering. They're in appalling conditions. There is no other word for it. There cannot be a brown cent less given to end the budget this year. It has to be doubled. But of course, Minister Ryan doesn't want to invest on roads. And what happens when you have a road with potholes of cars swiving left, right and centre? And they can't travel on the road. You cannot consider in a road like the N71 that hasn't got a proper investment or a proper bypass or a proper passing base since the Skibbereen bypass is there 20, 25 or 6 years. That's the only bypass. We have no bypass in Shannon. We keep begging for it. The Northern Relief Road, the Southern Relief Road in Bandon have not been finished. The Bantry Relief Road has not been finished. You're an absolute abject failure. And this is leading to absolute frustration when people are driving. The N71, don't tell me you're going to bring it down to 80 kilometres. I can't go 25 miles an hour some of the days there. It's appalling. You have to come down to see it. And I'm being honest. I'm quite happy that you sit in there to the can go around the trench hole because you will see for yourself. The R585, the R586, cutting from 80 to 60. Push bike speed. People have to go to work in the morning. They're stressed to the inch of their life. They're trying their best to stay within the limits. Everybody wants to stay within the limits. Nobody wants to break limits. But you're going to make sure that they do. Their road markings, the road markings are no longer existent on most of the roads in West Cork. But that's okay, to hell to it. Flooding comes, flooding goes, takes away parts of the road. I have a collapsed road west of Skull uh, at the moment, as called the Bog Road, going into the, going into the ditch for the last six months. It's astonishing. Come and see it, Minister. You have to see what's going on, but you don't, and you won't.